Mr. Chairman, members of the council, uh, the communication is intended to give you folks an update on where we are at with respect to the siting study for the new shops. And uh, Anne, could you advance slide one? Sorry about that. So go ahead and do the next one, please. Hey, we got to learn how to <laughs> you can always tell Pioneer employees because they back into all their stats. <laughs> Even the ones that we hired, John, they still continue to back into their parking spots. We've got to care about that. So. But anyway, um, it's, it's a late night, so we will get down to business here. Uh, we have a, a selection committee that the chief executive formed, and we are working with our consulting engineer to put together the best recommendation we can for a new shop location. You can see the names of the individuals that are on the selection committee. Uh, the, the last one on the list is Andy Dare. And Andy's sitting up here, he's advancing slides. He'll speak here in a few minutes. He'll go over with you folks the results of this first phase of analysis. And the second to last name is Pat Lee. And Pat is also with us, and he'll talk in a few minutes about the schedule and, and some of the NRD's concerns. And as the council remembers, the shops are being moved because we need to remove the pair tailings, and the NRD is spearheading that process. And the NRD program is also paying all of the costs associated with relocating and replicating the shops. So the next slide, please. So when we last spoke with you folks, there were eight sites that were still under consideration. So we'll just do a quick review of what those sites are before we get through this review, I want to say that at the end of at least this first part of this presentation, we're going to make a recommendation to you that two sites be taken off the list. Andy is going to do a, 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 a review of the analysis that we have completed. And, and what you'll see by this analysis is really we, we picked six locations, any of which would be viable as a shop location. Each one has some problems. There's cost, cost differentials with, with each but each one would be a viable location. But we realize that it's highly likely that we will have to move our hot plant and crusher. And so those of you who don't know, I suspect all of you do, the hot plant and crusher are now located just off the interstate at the foot of Montana Street, just where the, the on-ramp is on Montana Street. It, it's in the old Colorado Hedges area. And you don't even see it back there. There's a big tank in the way, and there's those slag walls, so you don't even see it. It's back there. But it's an area that likely will have to be cleaned up at some point. So what we're going to come to in a minute, and I'm kind of stealing my own truck here, is we're going to recommend to you folks that we don't want to go through this siting analysis again in a couple of years when it's time to move the hot plant pressure. So we propose that we choose a location now that can not only hold the county shop complex, but can also be a site where we can co-locate the hot plant and crusher. So, back to the six sites. This is the north of Civic Center Road. You can see the area that's shaded in green. That would be a proposed location for the new shops. And just south of that, in the bottom part of the picture, is our existing county shops. This is one location we're going to recommend you folks be dropped from further consideration because we surely cannot put a hot plant and crusher here. And in a minute, I'll talk about some other considerations on why we think that probably there's better uses for this ground. So next slide, please, Andy. So north of Civic Center Road is one of the six that have been looked at. It's called the BNSF Upper Yards. It's actually that area just below the map. You know where the old roundhouse is just off of Continental Drive? Below the map is an old BNSF rail yards. And this is another location, it's about 26 acres. It's, it's a viable spot for county shops, but it's not a viable spot to also locate a hot plant crusher. Uh, and as folks know, the, the business district of the uptown is expanding into this area. There's a lot of land uses that would probably not conform well for sure to having a hot plant crusher. And there's probably better uses for this ground than city shops as well. So we'll recommend to you here shortly that this be taken out of consideration. So the next one, the next four are still sites we want to move forward and do further evaluation on, the first of which is the Montana Pole property. It's 40 acres. Uh, it's presently a Superfund site. It's where the old Montana Pole plant was. There's still cleanup going on there. So we, we want to do further analysis here and 
one piece of analysis we want to perform for this site is to find out just when it might be available for our use. As Pat will talk about here shortly, there's an interest in moving tailings this coming summer at the uh, existing pair of tailings site. So we need to have a location we can move the shops into within about a year or so. So one of the analyses that we'll do is whether Montana Pole can be cleaned up and made available to us in the time frame that we need. The next slide shows the 53-acre MSE site, the Mike Mansfield Technology Center. And this we will do further, we'll take a further look at. Uh, I, I know some of the council have toured the facility, I have toured the facility. There's some pluses and minuses here. And the next phase of analysis will kind of try to flesh out and put a dollar cost uh, and add what it would cost to upgrade this facility, to make it useful for our county shops, and what it would cost to operate out of this facility. So the next one that's still under consideration is one of two sites on Centennial Avenue. And this is the site of Centennial Concrete. That little island in the middle of the green, of the green shading there is our existing dog town where Ed Randall has his office. Uh, and, and so this would be a, a case where we would buy out Marty Saluso and his son who, who own this property and, and then convert that into a county shops property. Just across the road across Centennial is the, uh, the, the metro sewer plant. So it's kind of an industrial area. In fact, it's an M2 industrial zone. So definitely our use down here would conform to the adjacent land uses and to the zone. And then I think it's the last one. Is the next one is uh, the Gilman property, and it is just immediately west of the Saluso property that was on the previous slide. You can see at the bottom the lagoons from the new treatment lagoons, and Metro Sewer is just the bottom of the screen as well. And this is about 20 acres that comprises where Excelsior Avenue and Centennial Road kind of connect there. It's a vacant piece of ground. I, I've met with Mr. Gilman, Jim Gilman, also with Marty Saluso, we have willing sellers in both of these cases. And they both understand that we're constrained, we can only pay appraised value for property. And they both are willing to, uh, to accept that. I guess we'll, we'll know for sure when the values come in. So those are the six sites that are still under consideration. The next slide shows those sites, they're, they're kind of in blue, they're, they're the blue rectangles, and they're labeled, they're scattered around the town. Down south is the MSE site, and the other five sites are kind of clustered more in the center part of the city. Then there's a couple of dots in red on that map. It's kind of small, but it's what you can see. Um, the Civic Center, the existing corral is in red. It's shown there in kind of the eastern part of town. And then the, uh, the hot plant and crusher at the foot of Montana Street are the other red dock that's kind of in the central part of the city. What could go there? But I suspect that motels and ex expanded civic center, lots of uses could happen, some of which could generate tax revenue for the county. And so for that reason as well, we think that probably that location isn't the best spot to, to put the, the shops in. And that goes also for the NSF railroad property. There's probably higher commercial uses there. And perhaps a, a city shops might be more of an eyesore and not as beneficial there as it could be. And then also at the Civic Center Road site, if we were to choose that location, it's going to delay the pair tailings removal by a year or so. And the, the interest of the community is to get that darn stuff out of there. And so by getting the, the shop complex totally out of that area, we will enable that process to move ahead quicker. So that, that's the, the end of the initial part of my comments. And, and